Hi, I'm Ian Hannah Mansing in the CBC Newsroom in Vancouver. I was just in Calgary interviewing the mayor, Nahid Nenshi. We spent parts of two days sitting down talking about all kinds of issues, the challenges facing Calgary, what it's like for him to be mayor, how he engages voters using social media and also one-on-one -on -one meetings in town. And you may remember when he was elected a year ago, a big story, especially outside of Calgary, was the fact that he happens to be Muslim. And he is the first Muslim to become mayor of a major Canadian city. So when we sat down, I asked him a year later, does that matter to the people of Calgary? It really doesn't matter that you're Muslim? It really doesn't matter. You know, um, I try to do fewer events on Friday nights. And uh, during Ramadan, you know, I try not to do a lot of road races, not that I ever do road races anyway. No, it really doesn't matter. During the election, the issue of my faith came up exactly twice. Once where we had a little bit of vandalism, and it happened to be the night of September 11th, so some people were saying, you know, is this a reaction to his faith? And I think someone on Twitter said it best when they said, I hope that this was the work of jerks and not racist jerks. Um, but that day, that Sunday was a terrible day. It was a Saturday night the vandalism happened. The Sunday was a terrible day. Cleaning up glass in your campaign headquarters is never fun, and it was really tough for my volunteers who opened the, the office that morning. But you know what? The Monday was a fantastic day because Calgarians of every stripe came together and said, you know, that's not who we are. That's not what we believe in. Later, the local newspaper published an article about my background and my faith, and I am told that they received more letters and phone calls to their newsroom on that issue than on pretty much anything else they had published that year. And a few of the phone calls were from out and out racists. You, you get those. But the vast, vast majority of them were from people who were angry, saying, what? we don't care. Talk to us about his stance on affordable housing or how he's going to ease road congestion. What does his faith have to do with anything? And that is, I think, a very typically Calgarian response. I mean, keep in mind we're, that here in Alberta, our redneck backwards Alberta, where the Globe and Mail dared to publish a front page headline that said, Alberta steps into the present. <laughs> Good Lord. We have, if you really like tokenism, a female premier, an Indo-Canadian leader of the opposition, a woman leading the third party, the mayor of the second largest city is Jewish, and the mayor of the largest city is Muslim. <laughs> you know what? That's Alberta. So we'll have much more from that interview tonight on The National, on CBC Television and CBC News Network. You may have been following the last few days, uh, a lot of people are talking about how with all of the provincial and territorial elections in the last month, the voter turnout uh, dropped in, I think, virtually every one. A lot of people are dismayed by that. So you may find it particularly interesting to hear what Mayor Nenshi has to say about voter engagement, about trying to get people who are generally not interested in politics to feel like politicians are working for them. Uh, there are the kinds of things he talked about on the campaign trail, but maybe most interestingly is a year later, he's still talking about them, and it appears people in Calgary are still listening. So we'll have that tonight on The National.